Hi, and welcome to the new F-Track integration for Nuke Studio. This toolset allows users to quickly set up their F-Track projects, manage offline edits, output reviewable media, conform plates, and rebuild editorial tracks for review. So let's start by opening F-Track Connect and launching Nuke Studio. Let's import the edit and rename our shots. And add some soft effects like a color grade to the clips in the timeline. We can then add task tags to the newly renamed clips for compositing and animation. The Connect integration uses Nuke's native UI to access the plugin features. Let's select the track we'd like to export. From here, we can set our reviewable media, plate, Nuke scene files, and audio export settings. Next, we select our tracks to export and set the shot handles. Select the project, task to publish to, and the asset type. Using Nuke Studio's native export UI, we can customize task attributes like the output resolution and file format. In F-Track, we can see the newly created shots and tasks in the task spreadsheet. Let's now look at the first shot. We have the published plate and review component. Looking at the versions page, we can see the result of the published reviewable media. Let's jump back into Nuke Studio and rebuild some tracks. We simply select the track we want to rebuild, select Build Track from F-Track. In the dialog box, we can give the new track a name, select the task and asset type, asset status, and component name to rebuild from. The plugin rebuilds the clips from the criteria we set and can be used to quickly update the offline for review or export. Lastly, let's export and publish an EDL into F-Track. Here, we simply select the track and export to the F-Track timeline processor. Back in F-Track, we can see the created EDL has been published to the project and is ready to share with other team members. As with all of our integrations, the Nuke Studio plugin is free to install and is open source, so you can extend it further. To learn more, visit ftrack.com.